Alrighty. Part two of the propane conversion from our Predator generator that I picked up from Harbor Freight. So uh, where we left off, I had already got the motor snorkel installed and I uh, need to uh, mount the uh, regulator and hook up the uh, propane and get ready to get it tuned up. So that's where we'll pick up at. Okay, right back. Okay, so we're gonna mount the regulator. So uh, when you uh, read up on the application and read up on installation, um, you can look at some of the pictures of the uh, two-cylinder engine where they have the regular mounted. It's only mounted uh, right in this area, right in this area right here. And the reason is you want to get as close to the carburetor as possible. And uh, However, I don't want mine mounted right there. It just sticks too far out the front and uh, the space I'm going to put it in, it just takes up too much space. So, I'm trying to find a different place to mount it. What I've come up so far is I took this uh, piece of tubing and I uh, bent it and shaped it to fit right about here. And then I'm going to bolt that in place right about there. And we're going to mount the regulator from this. That way it's closer to the engine, kind of tucked away inside, and uh, not as obtrusive. Because it has to be mounted lower than the lid, if I mount it up too high, then the lid won't close. I made up these, uh, these two spacers to uh, use as mounts. So let me clamp it all together so I can see kind of where to look like. Okay, so spent most of the day doing the mods needed to uh, fit it on propane, get this generator on propane, and uh, to route the exhaust so that I can run inside of my quiet shed. So here's what we have. You can see I have my propane regulators uh, tucked inside of the frame. Didn't really want it outside, so then I uh, just took some tubing and formed it so that it would fit as a brace across the top of the frame and uh, suspended the regulators from that. Uh, so the nice part is, since it's on the frame, not on the engine, uh, no vibration at all. So we'll start up here in just a minute and then we'll see how it runs. No vibration. My exhaust, uh, because I'm going to run this inside of my quiet shed, I want the exhaust uh, in a certain direction. Uh, towards the fan that exhausts all the fumes outside of the shed and keeps it cool. So I, uh, I welded the flex tube to a 90 degree elbow and it's just a slip joint that I uh, put a screw in. You see right there, I just uh, tapped the hole and uh, screwed a screw in to hold it all together. Uh, that way if I ever needed to uh, take the generator out somewhere, uh, that's not permanent, it's going to be right off. Okay. Again, so the uh, intent is to run this inside of my quiet shed, which is right over there. It's got some cushions in it right now, but I've run it for about three hours today. A couple more hours and then I'll start it up on propane and get it tuned up. Uh, but let's start it up so you can see, uh, see it run, hear it run, gasoline with the regulator in place. Only thing left at this point is uh, hook the holes up, hook the propane up, tune it. So let's get a real quick start, let's see. 